All right, I'm gonna solve it now. Um, okay, so quickly having a look at this, what I notice is there's, you know, mostly black dots in set A and mostly white dots in set B. But there are, you know, there, there are boxes in set A without black dots. And there are boxes in set B with only black dots. So the color of the dots probably isn't important. Now, both sets only have two dots in each. And the option we have has two dots as well. So the number of dots isn't important. The size of the dots also looks the same. So I'm probably thinking the dots, even though they stand out way more, are my distractors. What I need to focus on is the other thing, the lines. Now, I don't see an obvious pattern in the number of lines or the way they're bent, but you know what I'll do is I'll just count the number of lines. So I've got one here, five here, three here, three here, five here, and three here, all odd numbers. And what I notice is I've got two here. And immediately the first time thing I'm thinking is, is the pattern odd number of lines in set A and even number of lines in set B? Let's have a look. Four here, two here, six here, four here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. That seems like a pattern and I can apply it to every box. And now looking at the option, what I notice is it has four lines or an even number of lines. That means my answer is gonna be B. Hope that makes sense. Now, I do wanna point out something. You might be thinking, well, where do I begin with this, right? And the thing I would have begun with is actually these two boxes. And the reason for that is they have the least number of lines. And because they have the least number of lines, they're less likely to have distractors in them. They're the most minimalistic boxes in each set. And so easier to compare and easier to see. And the first thing I did when I saw them is I noticed, huh, one here, two here. And that didn't really you know, stand out as a pattern to me in any way. But as I started counting the lines, it quickly became easier to see. It would have been much harder starting at this box because there's way more lines and you know, there's just more sensory overload in that box than it is in the one over here. So what I suggest is it's really important that you guys make sure that you start by looking at the easier to follow boxes first in order to try and avoid distractors. Hope that was helpful.